Okay. You may ask me, Kevin, how do I know if God wants me to go down a certain path or how do I know if God doesn't want me to do something? So let's go to Jonah chapter 1 verses 1 through 4, I believe. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Admittai, I guess, <laughs> saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. So, the Lord is telling Jonah to go to Nineveh, I guess to straighten them out, to get them to change, to get them to stop doing what they are doing. Verse 3, but Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish. So Jonah is doing something, going against the Lord's command. Okay, but Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. <clears throat> and, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. So Jonah is willfully, purposely disobeying God. God wants Jonah to go somewhere. And in my own words, Jonah is saying, nope. Okay. Verse four. But the Lord sent out a great wind. Now, why did the Lord do this? To get Jonah to not go where he wants to go. To get Jonah to obey him, right? I believe so. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken. So Jonah wanted to do his own thing, right? But the Lord, Jesus, right? Is doing something to hinder Jonah from doing what he wants to do. Okay, you may ask me, Kevin, how do I know if God doesn't want me to do something? Does it feel like you are being hindered? And this may not be the case every time. For instance, let's say you know God wants you to teach or God wants you to help out the poor or God wants you to do this or that. And let's say you want to... For instance, let's say that you know that God wants you to be with your mom and dad and help them out because they are very sick and they need help and they have problems. And let's say God, that God told you or you have like a, what word is that? Let's say you have an inner knowing, I guess I can say, that God wants you to help them out. Okay. But let's say you choose to, or you want to move to Hawaii and, and go to college and start your own life. But let's say you have an inner knowing that you have to help your parents. So let's say you try to go to Hawaii and whatever, 
And for some reason, it continues to fail. Like you try to make phone calls, you try to make plans and stuff like that, but it seems like nothing is going good for your plan to Hawaii and whatever you want to go there. Okay, what can you say about that? Probably God does not want you to go to that place, at least not at that time. Does that make any sense? Now, you can be like Jonah, right? And try to force your way there. But what do you believe is going to happen? Disaster. Probably, probably disaster. Probably bad things. Probably things will be worse for you, probably. If you know to do something, do it. I am not saying that I do everything right. I am not saying I say everything right. But if you know that God wants you to do something, even though you have other plans to do this and to do, do that and stuff like that, I think it is best to try to do what you know God wants you to do. Okay, let's say you don't know. Let's read the Bible. I think you should read the Bible. I believe if you read the Bible, you will know what God expects of us, right? So if you are trying to do something that is contrary to the Bible, then I guess we can easily say that God does not want us to do it. Kevin, um, I want to have sex before marriage. What does the Bible say about that? Kevin, I want to steal one million dollars. What does the Bible say about that? Kevin, I want to punch a person in the face because they were talking about my mama in a bad way. What does the Bible say about that? Should we be going around punching people in the face? Absolutely not. So do you understand what point I am trying to make? If you know to do something and if you know it to be right, but let's say you have other plans. Yes, I should be feeding the poor, but I have other plans. I want to save my money and buy a boat and and go sailing and do all this stuff here. But if trying to buy a boat, if that plan is like you trying so much to accomplish it, but like bad things continue to happen and it seems like something is working against you, probably God does not want you to do that. Now, we have to place things in context now. I think there are going to be times when what we want to do is not wrong and the enemy may be coming against us. But what I am speaking of you know to do something that is right, but you want to do something else. We are here, I believe we are here to help others, not only ourselves. It's not all about us. Yes, it is about God, but we have to help our fellow man including women. So let me stop here. God bless you.